and you're brought up in the crazy place and you become an adult in the crazy place and all you've ever known in your life is a crazy place, then to you, crazy is normal. Um, and when someone comes from, from um, outside or has started to see it from inside and says, actually, this is a crazy place. Well, you are seen as crazy because you're not normal. You're not the normal that is actually madness that people have become used to. And this is, a, this is the thing, uh, Brian, you know. What is normal? Normal is only what we normally experience. So if you are um, living in the outback of Australia, your normal is never seeing uh, uh, anyone pass your house, never seeing a vehicle. But if you're born in downtown London or live here, your normal is never not seeing vehicles and people everywhere. And, and so when a, when a vehicle passes someone in the outback, they say, oh, look, there's a car. That's not normal. And then someone walks down a, an empty London street and they say, oh, dear, what's going on? That's not normal. Um, normal is only what we normally experience. And thus, if we live in a crazy place, then that's what we normally experience. And this is how things are. And you're born into a world. And when, when you, you come into the world, it's got great relevance for what's going on now, actually, this. Um, then you take the world to be as it is when you arrive. So you come into a crazy place, but, well, this is how it is. So you don't see it as crazy. Uh, and therefore, um, when someone like me is questioning everything about the crazy place and seeing if it stands up to scrutiny, and most of it doesn't, then, of course mainstream society is going to see you as mad. I take that as a compliment. It's one of the things I say in the book, to be called mad by, by, by an idiot, as I put it, is, is a compliment. And I've been called mad by many idiots over the years, I can tell you. Um, many of them journalists, funny enough. Um, but uh, it's, um, it's just something you have, to, you have to live with and you have to come to terms with and accept. When you're challenging normality, then that which has accepted normality to be the real world is going to see you as crazy. Can't be any other way. Mm. Thing is, though, and I've found this over the last nearly 30 years, if what you say has validity and you keep saying it, despite all the abuse and all the ridicule, you keep saying it, if it has validity, that's the key, if it doesn't, then will go anywhere. But if it does, eventually it will be shown to be so. And that's the process that I've been through. Um, nothing like completed yet, but it's moving that way, where world events are concentrating people's minds on the fact that the world isn't like they thought it was, and they don't like the way it's going. They feel uneasy about it. And um, that has got people to, in greater numbers, to look at what I've written in the past, which is basically saying the world that we have now and we're going deeper into is the one that's been planned all along.